Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. I posted a quick short the other day uh, demonstrating how this thing is used. I'm just going to place my can down here real quick. Take this off. All right. So I uh, bought this uh, can crusher on Amazon. It's hooked up to my um, air compressor. This is the typical Porter Cable um, budget uh, air compressor. It totally suits my needs. The only problem with that is it's got a very small tank, so you'll probably hear it kick on if I do more than like 10 cans or so. Uh, so uh, it kind of comes where you have to assemble it, but it's actually a really simple assembly. Didn't take much. Uh, I didn't need anything that wasn't already in the box. Uh, just a couple of wrenches to tighten it, tighten it down. These fittings are super cool. Um, they they just, you know, you uh, they just fit right in. So you cut the... You know, cut this little air hose exactly to size of what you want. It comes with a little more than you need, so you can cut it yourself and then uh, fit it in. All you have to do is like a push fit. You push it in and it fits. It doesn't leak at all. And then the other cool thing about it is uh, it's not a click and let go. It's like you got to click and hold your hand down in order for it to crush. So that to me is actually an added safety feature because um, when I posted the shorts, some people commented that, oh, you know, I was having my kid do it. He was like, oh, that's super unsafe or whatnot. Um, it needs like some sort of safety mechanism, but it really doesn't because when you put the can in, right, and you press this thing, if I just press it and let go, it doesn't do anything, right? I have to keep my hand pressed on it for it to continue to press, see? And it's got a little opening at the bottom where the crushed can will fall out. So you can actually crush cans really, really quickly this way. And it does a very clean job. There goes my air compressor. Let's just shut it off for now. But you can see how, how nice and compact the can gets afterwards. This is really what I was looking for. I was looking for something that could do a really clean job where um, I wouldn't have to, um, you know, use hands or whatever. Now, of course, we could, um, you know, just have to rinse out afterwards, I guess, or whatnot. But if you're looking to crush some cans, I'll leave a link to this. You're, of course, going to need an air compressor. Uh, that goes without saying. And... Um, that assembly will probably take you about 10 minutes, maybe less. And it can do cans up to kind of that oversized can size, whatever like those big uh, energy bottles are. It should be able to do those because as you can see, there's a good three or three and a half inches above this normal size Coke can. Yeah, so pretty pretty quick, and it's also just a super nifty thing to have. Um, what I did is I, I just uh, screwed it down to the side of my uh, this shop table that I had, but you can kind of install it vertically if you want or install it horizontally like I have as long as you've got an air source nearby. You should be said kind of a perfect thing to have in your garage if you already have an air compressor. Um, if you don't, there's another kind that doesn't require an air compressor, but... Mm, uh, I don't know. This seemed like it would suit my needs uh, best. Uh, overall, I'm super happy with it. It's uh, I, I can't think of what else I would need. It, it does a really nice job. It's a very nice, clean crush and uh, hasn't faulted on me even once yet. So we've crushed a couple hundred, hundred cans already. Um, and uh, we're, we're a pretty big uh, usage soda family. <laughs> So uh, these cans will, there's going to be tons of cycles on this thing. If my mind changes about it or if, uh, or if it um, has faults and things like that in the future, I might make a follow-up video. But for now, it's actually uh, a, a really well-built, uh, really nice quality materials. This, this uh, push-button switch and valve is actually quite nicely machined. Um, for the price, honestly... I don't know if you could do any better than this, uh, given given how um, nice all of the different fittings and stuff like that are. Uh, it's really well machined, and this is obviously steel. Um, yeah, a, a, a really nice setup. If you have any questions, go ahead and post it in um, the comments. 
I'll leave a link to uh, this in the description. And if you don't have an air compressor, I'll leave a, leave, uh, leave a link to that as well. It comes with all the fittings you need to connect it to your air compressor. And it is a quick release um, setup here. There's that fitting built behind this where, you know, obviously you uh, quick release can uh, connect it, quick connect it. Um, cool. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, see you on the next one. Um, and uh, click that like and subscribe. Thank you.